ever since I saw this ultimate chocolate cake recipe posted on Tasties, I've been craving and thinking about chocolate cake. So today we're gonna recreate that recipe. My friend Aria is gonna come over and we're gonna do it together. Halloween is only a couple of days away, so in honor area of that, we are going to do it on this costume. Is this gonna be very embarrassing for me? Yes! <laughs> Oh, what do you think of my costume? I think you look like a loser. I don't know what to say. And I'm the weird one. It's so warm though, I can totally go trick or treating. I could pass as a 16 year old. I don't think so. We might get kicked out. <laughs> it's happened before. We need mayo. They're really big. Look how huge. Huge. So we only need half a cup, which is like, ding. Is that the cheapest one? Yeah. Should I be weirded out that no one thinks I'm weird here? You got your stuff. Yeah, I got the stout. These shoes don't really go with it. Back to your little thing. Oh, I need to look for my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Not a single person has looked at you this entire time. You make your party. Exactly. Uh, sure. She was asking if you guys are making the cake to eat it or sell it or gift it to somebody. I'm like, we're eating it. Right, yeah, all of it. Talk to us about your costume. I am the okay. Ever. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> First step. It's to, it's to preheat the oven and prepare the pans because they don't want the batter to sit out for too long. 325? 325. Start. I did the trick about pretty much like fold it and fold it. How do you do it? Folding it in half, fold it in half again. Only took a few tries. 45 degrees. And then you're supposed to do it again. And roughly measure from the center to the edge. And that'll be where you cut. And then when it comes out. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Let's compare. Start with is sifting our dry ingredients into a bowl. No. <gasps> oh, if I use a measuring spoon, it would have not been accurate at all. It's supposed to be one cup and a half. It went to like 200 grams, and we only need 180. So we've got flour, the cocoa powder, salt, baking soda. <laughs> I can feel the heat it's actually pretty okay. It just kind of is a little wonky. <laughs> First secret ingredient in this cake is stout. I only have a small glass. I just take a moment and appreciate how I spent 20 minutes in LCBO looking for stout, because I don't drink beer. <laughs> it shouldn't be that hard. Oh, I should have poured it sideways. Now it's all foamy and... Can I just dump this? Do you drink beer? Just keep it, actually. How much is it? Try it. I Try it. I mean, it's gonna go down the drain if you don't. Wait. Second secret ingredient is espresso powder. Got it. Yeah. What? What we're gonna do is cream our butter and sugar. Is your butter even topped enough? Still? Yeah. You know when you microwave butter and it has that smell? I hate it. Like popcorn. Actually, buttered popcorn. Yeah, that's why I never get popcorn. <gasps> you don't like popcorn? What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm almost hungry. Five minutes. <laughs> that it. Probably trying to get a lot of air beat into the butter and sugar. <laughs> oh, no. oh no. We got an escapee. <laughs> Yeah, there's butter everywhere. <laughs> just realized it asks for four ounces of dark chocolate, and this whole thing, whole package, is 3.5. Close enough. And the sugar can only absorb so much liquid at once. So that's why you really want to take your time and add one egg at a time. And make sure it's not rotten before we. Third secret ingredient, don't freak out, it's mayonnaise. Half a cup of mayo. Oh, oh you know what we should do? There's a trick to this. Use the rolling pin. That's for like metal jar, but this will probably work too. Oh, so easy! Oh my god, that, that is the trick. Thanks, mom. Okay. Don't you love that sound? That beautiful sound. He's like, what's that smell? Disgusting. Disgusting. Now switch off between adding our dry and our wet ingredients. The video said it doesn't really matter how much you add, you just like make sure you don't make a mess. 
fold in some dark chocolate chunks. It's not the bright knife, but if it works, it works. Would you like your chocolate pieces to be big or? Like not extremely tiny, but not extreme, like a medium size. Gooey gooey and some, you know, melty, melty bits. <laughs> Yum! Yeah, I can't hold this up. I can help you. I can help you. So chef's name. He does the tapa tapa opa opa. Food wishes! Don't call it the tapa tapa. It's the old tapa tapa. Tapa tapa just sounds ridiculous. Will you do the honors? Yeah. Should have let the heat out a little bit before you did that. That's so dangerous. Look at them go. We're gonna set it for 25 minutes because the original said 35 because it was an eight inch pan. First round of cleaning, done. So far it's taken us two and a half, oh, two and a half hours, it's not bad. I think when we made the macarons that took forever. Yeah, that took a right on But we got really lucky because it turned out really nice. Four words. We're just naturally talented. I guess I have to wash this now. I was just gonna wear it again. Gross. <laughs> it's been like over 35 minutes and it's still not cut. It's because the batter was too thick. The cake is gonna be like this big. Three minutes left. Afterwards, we're gonna get some ramen and then make the buttercream. Oh, <laughs> Ta da! The original recipe said it doesn't really dome. It's not gonna dome as much as some other cakes. It's actually gonna come out pretty flat. It's probably just us. <laughs> it's really good. Oh, it's really popping. What's up? It's good ramen weather. Yeah, it is. You're right. It's that plaza. It's like, yeah. Thank you. Oh, never mind. This is really nice. So there is a little girl. Lean over to like look at me, but uh, she's hiding. It's not every day that you see your favorite character. Elmo. Twenty minutes later. I know how we're gonna eat cake. It's snowing. <laughs> Turn your back. It's like a music video. Just for one day. <laughs> Icing time. <laughs> It's still warm. Put it in the fridge. Um, it's over there. Are you okay? The thing about buttercream is it seems really easy, but the temperature of your butter as well as the temperature of your kitchen and what you're doing really makes a big difference. Should be enough icing, right? I think so. Yeah. I mean, we're not trying to like frost a cake or anything. We're just adding some not icing. Frost. Isn't that exactly what we're doing? <laughs> We only did half of the amount of icing because we're gonna do a naked cake. <laughs> Put a whole bunch of icing right on top. Butter. I don't know. I don't know. Ice cakes. What I add it with? Okay, you cut the cake and I'll ice it. Can I like eat from this? Yes. Yeah, I think oh, the icing like will balance off with the. Grace, this is like. We'll have it's to okay. Be very careful. How flat am I cutting it? Ah, good. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 I have to re Oh my god! I think it's almost impossible now. Like, look at all the crumbs. Oh shoot. Are you. God, that's not bad, you know? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> crumbs! <laughs> this is a disaster! Can we really save it? Probably not. Probably not. Hilarious. What is this? This is my first time making a cake, thank you. It is a deconstructed cake. <laughs> Put on the oh man, that's a really big slice. <laughs> ah! Hey, it looks cool bad. from the inside. I'm gonna push this. <laughs> I ruined it. <laughs> it's so good. Cheers. Mmm, that's good. It's so moist. Yeah, I like hate the word moist. <laughs> it's it's only applicable on cake. Okay. All right, closing remarks. I would say do not try this at home. <laughs> the key learnings. We should have let the cake cool down outside of the pan, but we wanted to go get ramen. What do you think? Hashtag worth it. <laughs> Until we pick next time. See you in the next the video. Okay, well, <laughs> chocolate overload. I know. I know. <laughs> it's falling. It's supposed to be. Oh, shoot.